to the second daily's edition of CityCast. This is Sanjita Mitra. And I am Kanishka Kohli. And here are the top headlines. Rural India unable to access vaccine portal. Covid glitches leave people in a state of panic. West Bengal and Odisha prepare for cyclone yes. Elderly people have fun with tech. We begin with an update on COVID and the fungal infection that are increasing. India reports 3,7,249 COVID deaths, the third highest in the world after US and Brazil. Meanwhile, there have been an increase in fungal infection. A patient in COVID was diagnosed with yellow fungus. 10,000 cases of black fungus have been reported all across the country and a hospital in Gazipur reported the presence of white fungus as well. AIMS director Randeep Guleria blames the abuse of steroids for the rise in black fungus infections. He also warned about the confusion created by giving the fungal infection different colors based on their infections to the body. According to the experts and doctors, people prone to diabetes who have cancer and even those with prolonged ICU stay can fall ill to these diseases. India reports its lowest number of daily COVID cases today. The country reported over 1,96,000 cases today, lowest in 40 days. 3,511 people died due to COVID today, taking the death toll to 3.7 lakh. On the other hand, 2.4 million people have been vaccinated in last 24 hours. 43.3 million people have been fully vaccinated so far. A team at IIT Kanpur dispatched the first batch of oxygen concentrators our reporter, Andhra, tells us how this will help meet the demand for oxygen. Amidst the oxygen shortage in the country, IIT Kanpur releases its first consignment of 600 oxygen concentrators and cylinders today. As the country gears up for the third wave, the team of Startup Incubation and Innovation Centre have promised to deliver 20,000 concentrators and cylinders by the end of June. The consignments would be reached to the hospital. We are planning to step up the production and we have also given this to Delhi government. Production is being supervised under the medical supervisors assigned by the municipal corporation as they aim to reach the target in eight weeks. The hospitals say that this is a much needed respite amidst a severe oxygen shortage in the country. The officials say that the target unit capacity is 100 units per day with the possibility of scaling up. This is Antara Gupta reporting for CityCast. The Indian variant of COVID-19 virus in transmission. A reporter, Amna, talks to virologist about this variant. The Health Minister Harshwardhan said that B.1.617 is the dominant variant spreading all across the country. Every virus, they have a different transmission. There is one variant that can spread to almost around like, as you can say, from one person to three persons. While as some other variants, they can then transmit their infection to much higher numbers, like one to six. As far as vaccination is concerned, they have seen that this virus is neutralized by the, if you are, you are vaccinated, so this variant, the Indian variant that we call as B.1.167 is neutralized by vaccines also. So no need to worry as such at this point of time about that. Experts suggest that the government needs to upgrade the vaccination and control the transmission of virus. This is Amna Karimi reporting for the CityCast. After the break, we'll look at the vaccine saw shortage in rural India. Welcome back. Many parts of the country do not find it easy to book the vaccination slots online. Our reporter Kanishka reports from Uttarakhand and Sejal tells us of the situation in Kullu. Residents of villages have to travel hours to get their vaccine. It is both risky and a financial burden. दूसरे दोस्त के लिए तो टैक्सी बुक करके आना पड़ा पहले तो मैं एक घंटा चला फिर 200 रुपए खर्च हो गए जहां पहुंचने में देयर आर 690 विलेजेस इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर आइडेंटिफाइड एज इनएक्सेसिबल ट्रैवलिंग टू वैक्सीनेशन सेंटर स्टिल रिमेंस अ बिग प्रॉब्लम ऑफिशियल फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट ऑफिस से दैट दे हैव गिवन वॉक इन रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शन टू ऑल द सेंटर सो वन कैन गो टू द नियरेस्ट वन सरपंच ऑफ विलेजेस से दैट दे आर ट्राइंग देयर बेस्ट टू रीओपन द वैक्सीनेशन सेंटर हमने जो हमने अपना जो लेटर डीएम को सौंप दिया है आवासन है कि हमारा काम जल्दी हो जाएगा और आप जो टैक्सी का किराया आपस में बांट लेंगे 
district officials say that they are trying to get more vaccines from the state which will solve this problem this is kanishka kohli for city cast people from the age of 18 to 44 in the rural areas of kullu are finding it difficult to book the slots presently the district consists of 14 centers with 100 slots available per center according to a phc in bajora more than 80% of people in the vaccination center did not belong to the panchayat people travel in search of vaccines many end up going to rural areas जो लोकल आदमी उनको नहीं हो रहा ना फायदा वो बाहर के बंदे डर रहे कहां कहां क्या के गोंगदु प्रधान उत्तम शर्मा मेनी अदर पीपल फ्रॉम द रूरल एरियाज आर आल्सो स्ट्रगलिंग विद नेटवर्क इश्यूज एंड लैक ऑफ नॉलेज टू बुक ऑनलाइन स्लॉट्स व्हिच हैज लेट पीपल फ्रॉम अर्बन एरियाज टू बुक दोस स्लॉट्स ये एक बड़ी समस्या है और इसके इसका सिस्टम होना चाहिए जैसे यहां पीएचसी हमारे यहां खास मीटिंग जा रही है यहां के लोगों को यही लगनी चाहिए ना Himachal Pradesh government has given 2 days per week for people between the age of 18 to 44 to get a vaccination done as there is a shortage in the number of vaccines. Meanwhile the administration officer says that people should book the slots in order to get themselves vaccinated. Us mein jo hai jo apna apko slot mein book kar lete hain to wo wo vaccination laga sakte hain. With only 65,000 vaccines available for the age group of 18 to 44 being 32 lakh in number the people from rural areas still struggle to get vaccinated. This is Sezal Said signing off for City Cast. Continuing with the vaccine woes, people eligible for vaccination are not able to get the vaccine due to glitches in COVID app. A reporter, Antra, brings us a story from Kanpur. Technical glitches in COVID app are on the rise amidst the vaccination drive for 18 plus in Kanpur. People are panicking that there is a possibility that the doses might get over, and there is no portal to put their complaints across. मैंने ऑनलाइन रजिस्टर किया था वैक्सीनेशन के लिए और उसमें स्लॉट्स अवेलेबल दिखा रहा था बट जब मैं हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटी पहुंचा तो हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स ने मेरे को बताया कि वहां पे कोई भी स्लॉट अवेलेबल नहीं है और जो वेबसाइट पे शो कर रहा है इट मस्ट बी सम काइंड ऑफ अ ग्लिच पीपल आर पैनिकिंग बिकॉज द स्लॉट्स आर गेटिंग बुक्ड रैपिडली एंड दे फियर दैट दे वोंट बी एबल टू गेट द वैक्सीन डोज इन टाइम ऑफिशियल्स ऑन द अदर हैंड से दैट द इशू इज विद द ऐप ऐसे करीबन 10 केसेस दिखी जाते हैं उटर्निटी Meanwhile for those who are positive in Himachal Pradesh the government introduces the covid care app for people under home isolation our reporter Sejal Said tells us how the app works government of himachal pradesh has started a himachal covid care app which is being monitored by the national informatics center the app at present has 200 patients and doctors registered with it the service is only available for the people who are in home isolation the service allows them to consult a doctor through it adding to which if the doctors are in contact with the patient or not will be monitored by a block medical or a chief medical officer so uh, this app will match the patient in a block with a doctor which will be assigned by the block medical officer to the covid positive patient we'll be right back after a short break welcome back families are financially unstable because of the pandemic Our reporter Shreya tells us how the COVID crisis is jeopardizing savings. The lockdown and increase in health expenses have forced people to withdraw money from their saving fixed deposits and provident fund. The state of working report suggests the monthly earning of workers fell on average by 17% during the pandemic. Lack of liquidity is also affecting the investments. मेरे घर में टोटल चार पेशेंट हैं जो बहुत ज्यादा इतना परेशानी हुआ कि एक और भाई दूसरे हॉस्पिटल में और जो उससे बड़ा था वो दूसरे हॉस्पिटल में for the dollar they fear because of uh, health issue and family related issue of uh, covid um saving account and fdp 
on on average twenty to thirty customer visiting our branch for withdrawal, uh, premature withdrawal of the egg. Economists say usually provident funds withdrawal happen after retirement, but many low income subscribers have opted for withdrawal. Their savings dwindled and also it became negative. Capital formation, I mean, in future there will not be development. It is affected, and also. Standard of living declines so in the future also. Last year, the government allowed EPFO subscriber to withdraw 75% of their funds in the pandemic. Experts say this may have a long-term impact on the accruals. This is Shreya Supa reporting for Citycast. Tenants in Mumbai now do not have to go to government offices to register their rent agreements. Our reporter, Sanjita Mitra, tells us what helps them to complete their paperwork. Tenants and homeowners do not have to travel to government offices to file their rent agreement papers as everything can be done online. Earlier, tenants had to go to offices with their brokers to register their rent agreement. This was getting difficult due to the lockdown and the pandemic. The state registration department says since the launch of this facility, they are getting over 300 registration requests through the online portal per day from Mumbai. Going to the registrar's office and waiting one's turn in places that are usually rather crowded increases our chances of contracting the COVID-19 virus. The State Registration Department says it was implemented in May 2021. A government official comes to the house to take the biometrics and complete the paperwork. Once that is done, the rent agreement is generated within three days. The Homeowners Association says that while this is convenient, especially during the pandemic, there are some problems that the process has that needs to be solved. There are some technical glitches that come up. Sometimes the page does not load. Sometimes the biometric doesn't work. So these issues the government needs to work on. The association says that once the glitches are dealt with, the process will be even faster and simpler. It will also help people who are unable to go to the government offices post the lockdown. This is Sanchita Mantra for Citicast. Senior citizens across the country are becoming more tech savvy. Let's get a glimpse of how they make most of the technology. Our reporter Radhika Rana tells us more. As per 2011 census, India has over 104 million people aged above 60. Since elders are more vulnerable to COVID-19, most of them were staying indoors. This can lead to poor health and depression. During the lockdown, technology helped senior citizens connect better with their children and grandchildren. A number of elderly people enrolled for online dance classes and cookery classes to develop new hobbies. A UK-based study looked into the communication habit of 11,000 people in the age group of 50 to 90 and found that those who use technology for communication have better ability to recollect events. Engaging with technology keeps them busy and reduces the risk of dementia and chronic depression. I'm Ratika Rana, signing off for Citycast. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back. A cyclone Yas is supposed to hit West Bengal and Orissa. Our reporter Arpita tells us the precautions and evacuation measures that the states are taking. An evacuation process has begun in West Bengal and Odisha's coastal region in wake of the cyclone Yas. West Bengal's Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee said that the state is targeting to shift at least 10 lakh people to a safer place. Union Home Minister Amit Shah held a meeting this morning with the Chief Ministers of Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal to review the preparations in view of cyclone. The weather department said it is very likely to cross North Odisha West Bengal coast between Paradeep and Sagar Island around May 26th noon and will make a landfall near Balasur in North Odisha. A reporter Shantan also updates us on how West Bengal is preparing to deal with medical emergency during the cyclone. Availability of medical services has become difficult in these times. With us arriving, citizens are skeptical of availing emergency medical services during the cyclone. A 90-year-old woman's skin says they are not sure what to do in this situation. Grandmother is severely down with fever. Her oxygen levels are fluctuating. We don't uh, know yet if she has COVID or not since the lab hasn't sent us back the COVID report. Me and my family are very skeptical and stressed. According to a government of West Bengal notification, the health department has set up a separate control room for the essential services of the citizens to be handled at the headquarters of the Calcutta Municipal Corporation. 
The citizens can call the helpline number and avail ambulances and get information on a hospital base during the cyclone. Other than this, another 24-hour helpline number has been set up for ordinary people to call for help regarding any matter from any part of the state. This is Shayantan Chandra for Sitika. More people are buying watches not just to check time, but to keep tabs on fitness and even oxygen levels. Our reporter Tarab Zaidi tells us more. Since last year, people have become more health conscious. Hence, the demand for smartwatches has seen a three-time growth. These watches provide fitness trackers, SpO2, as well as blood pressure detectors. 50% of my passion be involved in how 50% of fitness be involved in it. So, I mean, it's my demand that you pay for a new school, four thousand yen, and you can only afford that. These smartwatches were initially a novelty item for luxury add-ons, starting with a price of rupees fifteen thousand. But since a year, these have become a basic necessity for many people, say tech experts. Yes, smartwatches are expensive. So I can make the conclusion that smartwatches with oximeters can be used. Last year, the research director of Wearable Steam IDC said smartwatches will move deeper into health and fitness and connect with multiple applications and systems, both at work and within the home. The SpO2 monitoring system helps the user detect oxygen saturation levels in the blood. It is a common feature in smartwatches these days. Due to rise in demand, many companies have brought further watches at affordable rates that are in the range of rupees five thousand. For just fitness purpose, if you want to measure your SpO2, then you may go for your smartwatch. But for therapeutic condition, where you are strictly medically monitor your SpO2. I will recommend available pulse oximeter. As the market demand for these watches is believed to expand further in 2021, a normal health check will become handy as COVID-19 continues to trigger the health conscious. This is Tarab Zaidi reporting for Citycast. From smart watches to smartphones, Indian consumer is still prefer Chinese smartphones over gadgets from other countries. A reporter Piara tells us the reason behind this. The Indian smartphone market has been penetrated by the likes of Xiaomi, Redmi, Vivo, Oppo, Realme and others which all find their roots in China while Indian counterparts are no way to be found offline. Sangeeta will sell all smartphones like Vivo, Oppo, Samsung, Redmi. Wo feature acha deta hai aur comparatively price segment bhi acha hai. Matlab iska Vivo, Oppo ka compare kiya tha usme features kam deta hai na. Isliye Vivo, Oppo Chinese mobile fast moving chal raha hai stat counter global states data in april 2021 shows xiaomi leads the market share with 26.85% in india with samsung in the second spot at 19.65% and vivo oppo realme behind the two mai online mein check kar diye bahut sare company ka phone check kar diye uska andar acha phone a dikhe mere ko vivo z1 pro aur mere paas jo budget tha na uske liye bhi wo set ho raha tha ye phone aisa nahi hai hum 4 5 saal aaram se kam se kam acha chala sakte hai IDC Technologies report of 2020 claimed that Chinese smartphones will continue to dominate the Indian smartphone market as these four brands make up 69% of the total market share. According to the tech experts, India will be dependent on these companies in its budget segment for offering quality products at lower price. This is Priya Singh signing off for Citycast. Thank you for watching. Look out for our special editions throughout the week. See you tomorrow at the same place, same time. Stay tuned. Thank you and have a nice day.